Uh -huh. God doesn't want you to remain down. God doesn't want you to remain on the ground. God wants to pick you up and take you to the class of God. The Bible says he's highly lifted up. He's lifted up. That's where he is. So I want to introduce you to the class of God. The Bible says he took man out of the dust and formed him. Form. Form. Those of you who are teachers, you know form means class. Praise the Lord. Amen. Form means what? Class. That's why we have form one, form two, form three. So God took man out of the dust and put him in another class called the God class. Amen. Tell your neighbor, I don't belong to the dust. I belong to the class of God. I don't belong to the dust. I belong to the class of Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 6, God has raised us up and seated us together with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. He has raised us up and sat us together with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So now, physically we are in Kiboko, but in the spirit we are seated together with Christ. That is the class we are in. Amen. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Physically, you go to your business in Kiboko. You wake up in the morning, you go there. But spiritually, I want you to be aware that you are in the class of God and you are seated together with Christ Amen. in the heavenly places. Mm. And where Christ is seated, there are no sicknesses. Amen. Where Christ is seated, there is no poverty. There is no witchcraft. Mm. So when you are seated with Christ, you are seated high with Christ, but far below. The, 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 the principalities are far below. The devils are far below. Demons are down below. So God has come today to take you out of that class of poverty, out of that class of sickness, out of that, that lowly class, and to take you to a class called the God class, Amen. where we think like God, we talk like God. We don't talk poverty. We don't talk lack. We don't talk defeat. Mm -hmm. We only talk like the people from, that are from above. Mm -hmm. Because God is above. Mm -hmm. God does not talk about the language of sickness. Because that's not his language. Mm -hmm. Tell your neighbor, change the way you talk. Because you are in the class of God. Gods don't, there's a way God talk. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is upgrading the kilunjas. From the class of the dust, yes. class ya kudarauliwa, yes. class ya kuitwa majina, yes. to the class of God. Amen. The God class. Yes. The class of above. Amen. You are above sickness after today. Amen. I say you are above sickness. Amen. Sickness itakuwa inakuangalia hivi, and it thinks twice, should I come or should I? Let me just go. Amen. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. The last time I checked into a hospital, I don't even remember. It was 20 years ago. Me checking into a hospital. Because I understood my class. I don't belong to the class of the dust. If you remain on the dust, you are, you are food for the devil. But God, today, by his power, is picking you up. Amen. I say he's picking your business up. Amen. He's picking your health up. Amen. He's picking your life up. Amen. He's picking you up Amen. and putting you up there on the class of God. Amen. Tell your neighbor, I am in the class of God. Amen. Don't joke with me. Don't joke with me. I am in the class of God. I am in the class of God. In this class, we don't beg. In this class, we don't beg. In this class, we just make decrees. We say, let there be. Let there be. Let there be. Let the weak say, I'm, I'm strong. strong. Let the poor say, I'm rich. That's the class of God. Amen. You are in that class. Amen. You don't belong to the dust. Your ground wants to fashion you. We when you mukamba, fikiria kama wakamba, tembeaga kama wakamba, jibebe kama wakamba. No, God wants to take you out of that class. You don't belong to that class. Amen. You are seated with Christ in the heavenly places. Amen. In the spiritual realm, you are seated with Christ. Amen. That's where you are. Amen. 
That is your class. Amen. Never lose focus. Never allow the devil to make you think that you are in the low class. Though you are here, though you are down here, but in the spirit you are with Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You, I came to speak to your business. I came to speak to your life. Amen. I came to speak to your marriage. Amen. I came to collect it and pick it out of the dust and put it above there. Amen. That's where you belong. Amen. That's where you rule. Amen. That's where you reign. Amen. That's where you rule. Amen. That's where you walk in dominion. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Tell your neighbor, my class has changed after today. Everything about me has changed. I am in the class of God. Even my dressing will change. Even my walking style will change. I will not walk like a beggar. I will not look, walk like omba omba. I will walk like a king. I will walk like a queen. I will walk like a child of God. Because that is who I am. I am in the class of Amen. God. Amen. When you are in the class of God, when there are problems that people are running away, you are the one who comes because you are the solution that has come. You don't cry when, they, when there are problems and the world is crying. So what is there? Huh? When the people of, of Israel were crying, Goliath is too big. Ni mkubwa ana to threaten kila siku David alikuja akaangalia hivi akasema ni nini mnalia This man is too big for me to miss He's too big for me to miss Nyinyi mnasema vile ni mkubwa atatuweka chini lakini yeye anaangalia anasema huyu He's too big for me to miss huyu kwanza nita The people that belong to the class of God don't shy away from problems they take problems as their food because they know that is an opportunity for Mungu wao kujifanya nini? How can Jehovah Rapha be known unless you are sick? Unless there is sickness around. How will you know that Jehovah Rapha exists? How can Jehovah Jireh be known unless there is lack? Alafu Mungu ajionekane. So your problem is an introduction for God to show up. I'm telling you, God is about to show up in people's lives today. I'm saying God is showing up in style in people's lives today. Because you are not in the class of the lowly. This ground, from today, you will talk to the ground. You will talk to this ground. This ground will not hold you back. This ground wants to bring you down. Wants to bring you down. Wants to pull you down. You will speak to the ground. I tell you, I am not of your class. I belong to the higher class. I came to announce to everyone that is listening to me, the ground shall not receive your body this year. Amen. It shall not receive your body next year. Amen. It shall not receive your body years to come. Amen. You will live yes. to declare yes. the works of the Lord Amen. in the land of the living. Amen. You are not dying now. Yes. Because if you die now, utaenda kukua mujenzi kwa nyumba yangu. Ile kombiguni. So don't dare die now. Tell your neighbor, don't die. When you can live. The Bible says choose life. Death is an appointment. You, you make an appointment with the death. Oh. Don't die now. There is work here. There is work here. There is work here. Praise the Lord. We have to show this world that there is another class. That we ascribe to another class called the God class. This class is very different. This class looks at the storm and says, peace, be still. This class sleeps when there is a problem. Jesus was on a pillow in the boat, sleeping. When there are problems, Ngorota. Ngorota. Because there's someone who never sleeps in no slumbers because of you. Amen. So, yeah, ngoro. Ngorota. Learn to put a pillow and sleep when there are problems. Don't pray when there are problems. You pray because you prepare yourself for those problems. As they come, you already prayed up. 
Yo, shida ni unaanza unaanza fasting, unaanza maombi, unaanza you are late. You are late. That's not the class we ascribe. Mm. The class of God sleeps in the midst of a storm. Mm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I came to introduce the Kilunjas to the class of God. Amen. This class operates with favor. Amen. Eh? Mm. What will take people years will take someone months. Amen. By, because of the favor of God. Amen. It's not by might. It's not by, by power. power. Yes. Neither is it by age. No. But, by the spirit but by the Spirit of God. Amen. I came to introduce you to the God class. Amen. Enter the God class. Amen. Enter the God class. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Tell your neighbor, I am in the class of God. Amen. From today, the words that will come from my mouth are the God kind of words. I will not speak doubt. I will not speak unbelief. I will not speak failure. I will only speak lies. I will only speak blessing. I will only speak abundance. That is the language of the God class. Praise the Lord. When you are in the God class, even though your body is shaking in a malaria, malaria, you don't open your mouth to confirm it. You just leave it like that. Because you know it's just uh, trying to, it will go away. Mm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Don't start calling your sickness with the names. Kale ka malaria kangu ndi wako ka mekuja. Kale. Na nakajua kana tujanga tuile muwezi wa August. Muwezi wa August. Lazima kajitokeze. Inge ugonjwa yetu ya kijami hile, 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 hile. That is not the, the God class. That's not how the God class talk about. Mm -hmm. That's not how we talk. Mm -hmm. We only talk health. Mm -hmm. We only talk blessing. Amen. We only speak life. Amen. We only speak blessing. Amen. That's our language. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's finish this verse. It says, And God breathed into the nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living. I came to introduce you to the breath of God. I came to introduce you to the breath of God. Man is nothing without the breath of God. You are nothing in your life without the breath of God. Your business is nothing without the breath of God. Your family is nothing without the breath of God. If there is anything we should value, it's the breath of God. And that is why the devil knows. Do you know this corona attacks the breath? Nothing but the breath. Why? Because the devil knows when he attacks the breath of God, he attacks the essence of who you are. Of who you are. And that's why every day you must ask God, Lord, breathe upon me afresh. Breathe upon my family afresh. If there is anything that will take you from the ground to the high class, is the breath of God. Today I came to introduce the breath. The breath. One breath from God. One breath from God is enough to change your life forever. Today, the God is about to breathe upon your life afresh. I say, God is about to breathe upon your life. He's about to breathe upon your health. He's about to breathe upon your family. The breath of God is visiting people right now as I'm talking. The breath of God. The breath of God. The breath of God is everything we need. The breath of God. You need the breath of God. Amen. You need the breath of God. Amen. Wacha kuyumba yumba, wacha kuyumba yumba. Tafuta the breath of God. Ask God, breathe upon me afresh. Because one breath of God is enough to change your life forever. The man was like a dummy. Alichukua maji, akachukua dust, akafanya, fanya, fanya, fanya hivi. The man was still like this. Akatengeneza macho, akatengeneza mapua. Tengeza mdomo, tengeza kila kitu, the man was still as good as death. But the moment he did, the man began to walk. He became a living being. God has never stopped breathing. He will breathe again upon your life. Amen. He will breathe upon everything that is dead in your life. Amen. Everything that is dying in your life, he 
is about to receive the breath of Jehovah Amen. God. I want to introduce to you the breath of Almighty. It's the breath of God that's going to keep you. In this day that Corona is taking people left, right, and center, what you need is the breath of God Amen. to come upon your life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I see God lifting people up. Amen. Not by might, not by power, Amen. but by his breath. Amen. I see God lifting you up today. Amen. The Kilunjas, you are not in the dust. Amen. God has already taken you out of that class. Amen. You are not in the dust. Amen. You are not useless. Yes. You are not nobodies. Yes. God has raised you up. Amen. And today he's putting his seal called his breath upon Amen. you. After that, no one will be able to touch you. Amen. No one will be able to touch your finances. Amen. No one will be able to touch your children. Amen. No one will be able to touch you. Because you'll be untouchable. Amen. Because you'll be carrying the breath. Amen. Somebody said the breath, 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 the breath. The breath, the breath of God. I see the breath of God, mama. I see the breath of God coming upon you. Stand up. I see the breath of God coming upon you. Uh, are you anywhere familiar? I'm an Are you familiar? I don't know. I'm preaching, but I'm drawn to you. The breath of God is about to locate you. I don't know your story but your story is changing. I don't know where you are coming from, but you will go back different. Lift up your hands. Say, Lord, breathe upon me. Close your eyes. Say, Lord, breathe upon me. Breathe upon me. One breath is enough. Is enough. Is enough. Mako labata. Makeleba. Masikete bakuli bakaya nda bakuli bakaya nda baka Isikia takaya da Maleko topo koto Usie shinwa Usie shin Don't sit down, mama stand up Eni mungu Usie shinwa Usie shinwa Usie shinwa Wewe ni Mungu usiyeshi usiyeshindwa usiyeshindwa usiyeshi maleketi yaka makuya na maka malopoko yatika ya labasika tabaya makotopo the breath of god changes everything about you everything usiyeshindwa Wewe ni mungu 